Hi, I'm Victoria Bidewell for City Lights on Novus TV. Today we're going to be learning about the Segway. What is a Segway? Where can I get one? How do they work? We're going to find out all about it today. And I also have a special guest, Mr. Brian Laws, the first man ever in Canada to own a Segway and his dog Little Bit. Hi, Brian. Hi, Victoria. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Okay, so I'm curious, because there were no Segways in Canada, uh, how did you find out about it? I read about it. There was a, a lot of hype uh, even before the Segway was released okay. uh, about what a marvelous device it would be and believed half of the hype. But after I read about it, I decided it really was a great invention. And because my wife and I live here right at Falls Creek in Vancouver, it meant uh, selling one of our two cars and getting out and getting fresh air and running around. Our range is from here to Granville Market. Safeway all over downtown. The Segway originally derived from a, an iBot mobility system, which was a wheelchair that would lift disabled people up to eye level and balance on two wheels. So it's completely self balanced. A hundred times every second, it's going to monitor your body movement to make sure you don't fall. Most people get on though, and their instinct is to try to balance it. Right. The less you try to balance it and just trust that it's doing it for you, the easier it is. The process that's happening is underneath my feet, and it's called dynamic stabilization. It's using a series of five gyroscopes, tilt sensors, and a series of microprocessors that have in essence copied your inner ear function to make sure you never fall. Now this one is not actually turned on, okay? okay. So uh, just for demonstration purposes, if you tried to step onto it when it's not on, it's impossible to stand on. Okay. okay? The handlebar is adjustable, so we're going to lower the handlebar down just a little bit for you there. I'm short. A little short, that's okay. <laughs> we, don't, we don't use short, it's vertically challenged, right? <laughs> no, okay. And you're going to vote to be a little taller here. Okay. So now I've started up the Segway. So now it's 100% balanced. You don't have to worry about it. So what I want you to do is just step on up, heel, toe, heel, toe. Grab the handlebars as you come up. Okay. Okay. Uh, now a couple of tips for you, Victoria. Yeah. You want to look straight ahead and you want to keep your upper body as relaxed as possible. The more relaxed you are, the easier it is. Okay. okay. And it's all about just really thinking it. You feel like you're going backwards a little bit there? Yeah, I feel really funny. That's okay. Ah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Remember, don't try to balance it because it'll balance for okay. you. Okay. So okay. just think forward. Look straight yeah. ahead. That'll be the biggest thing is to look straight ahead. And okay. just think forward and you'll okay. come towards me. Okay. It'll never fall. Now just oh. think back a little and you'll stop. Oh. Okay. Think back again a little more and you're going to actually go backwards. Oh my gosh. Incredible, isn't it? <laughs> now put a little weight forward and you'll come forward. Okay. Keep looking straight ahead, Victoria, that's very important. Okay. Put a little weight back and you'll stop. Now backward and forward, and backward and forward, and backward and forward. How do you feel? Uh, good, it's just a lot of it, the power is in my feet. It's all in your feet. Yeah. Now, how do you, you feel, feel as it? far as your stability? Do you, safe. Yeah, it's very safe, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, right? it's weird. You don't feel like you're going to fall at all? No. No, it's very easy. Many people think that when they see me standing and sagging by, uh, that I'm not getting exercise. But if you'll notice as I turn, I flex my body, much like a skier does, and lean forward, lean back to stop. Uh, all of those things supply a little bit of exercise that uh, uh, I also enjoy. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it to the next stage. I'm gonna teach you how to turn. Okay. I want you to hang on tight with this hand and let okay. go of this hand here. Okay. okay? Turning is all done with this one wrist. If you turn it to the left, you go left. If you turn it to the right, you go right. The harder you turn it, the faster you go. Okay, so you want to take it nice and slow. Okay. Before you turn, what I want you to do is try to find your center point where you're not moving forward or backward. Look straight ahead and just do a 360 for us. 360. There you go. It has a zero degree turning radius, so it's easy to stand in one spot <laughs> and turn on a dime. Very easy to be integrated into pedestrian environments because as you can see, it's really no wider than your shoulders. Yeah, it feels very like it doesn't slide around Feeling or anything. Feeling very comfortable. It just does a perfect circle. And it's easy to turn while you're going forward as well. Yeah. Right? If you're turning while you go forward, you just kind of like skiing where you bend your knees a little bit. Yeah. You just kind of lean yourself into the turn. Okay, so you mentioned that you had been traveling with your Segway. You and your wife traveled all over the world with it. Did you come into any problems getting across the borders or anything? Or was everybody very acceptable of it? Very curious about it, but no trouble at all. Last winter, my wife and I spent three months in Buenos Aires and we were segueing along Avenida Florida. Uh, I was the first to segue on the Great Wall in China. So how much does it cost to maintain a Segway? Well, the Segway is virtually maintenance free. The only thing you need to keep an eye on is keep it plugged in when you're not using it. 
uses about 10 cents a day worth of electricity. You can plug it into any standard outlet and just keep an eye on the tire pressure. Now there's actually three different speeds that the Segway is capable of going. Uh, we've got you set onto the training key right now, which will take you a maximum of 10 kilometers an hour. But once you get a little more comfortable, you can advance yourself to the yellow key, which will take you 13 kilometers an hour. When you're really comfortable, uh, we can put you on the open environment key, which is the red key, which will take you up to 20 kilometers an hour. Thank you so much, Chris. I had so much fun today. Awesome. Now, I just want to know, how can we get a hold of you if we want to get a Segway? Uh, well, of course, you can visit our website at mysegway.ca. Uh, also, you can give us a call at 533-1414. Great. Okay, my name is Victoria Bidewell for City Lights on Novus TV. Let's go. Right on.